So Cyberpunk 2077 has been out for a year now. Yes, an entire year. Doesn't it feel like it's been at least two years? I don't know, time is a hell of a thing. Anyway, like a lot of other internet game talking YouTube channels and websites, we're gonna take a fresh look at it and talk about what has changed in the last year. Obviously, the developers CD Projekt Red have promised to put in a lot of work after the launch controversies, so we're here. We've got fresh footage of the game running on multiple platforms so you can see, so let's just dive in. Now first, just a quick recap. In our Before You Buy video of Cyberpunk 2077, our overall review was basically cool world, cool vibe, a decent game underneath there with some undercooked RPG parts, and it was all just kind of under a layer of unacceptable bugs, glitches, and poor performing versions of the games on certain consoles. Now, we said it certainly wasn't the epic RPG to end all RPGs like it was hyped up to be, but it was worth playing at some point. On what platform and when was up for debate because it was so messy and undercooked. Now, where I had left off with it being a matter of uh, what platform and when, now, a year later, is now the time? Uh, sort of, maybe? After a year of drama, statements, and bug fixes and patches, Cyberpunk is technically in better shape? Is the game improved overall? And I'm not quite sure there, you know, it's still weak in a lot of areas, but it's very clear that the last year has been CD Projekt Red essentially playing catch up, using resources to get the game into a more sound technical state. That's great. You know, the, the product is seemingly more solid. The, the PC version was a hog that needed some fixes and the console versions needed a lot of work. And now at least while playing around for a bit, they seem better overall. The base versions of the game, you know, on base PS4 and original Xbox One, we still just really don't recommend. If it's your only option at this point, if you waited, I'd say just keep waiting until you get your hands on a new machine. They're not as terrible or broken. They have seemingly been improved a little bit, but they still don't seem great. The frame rate is still pretty woof. And uh, when you mix it with the generally muddy quality, even those of us who can deal with lower frame rate this is still just a bit too much. And unfortunately on this version, you still have a lot of pop in, like really noticeable pop in and long load times. Now on the rest of the platforms, it is way more playable and looks pretty decent too. The PC version is now a bit more refined and just requires less fiddling with settings. Along with the technical stuff, there is some noticeable quality of life improvements or game improvements that really are just small little improvements to how it plays and how it feels, uh, specifically the map and the map pathing has been improved. Overall, you get spammed way less with like the messages and the phone call stuff. There's not as much clutter with all that nonsense. The cop spawning thing is still kind of messy, but it's a little better. Really, once it's good, the same then is the same now. It can be a pretty good looking game and it's just fun to explore the world because they got the music, the atmosphere, and the visuals and the whole cyberpunk aesthetic so right. Like, I mean, if you're looking for a little escapism there, we still think that's where the game does it best. There are definitely still some weird glitches here and there, but it seems like reports are slowing down in terms of like the devastating over the top ones. Just with our personal experience though, it's been mostly okay. You know, a few bad instances here and there, but nowhere near as widespread as the game on launch. You might think like, hey, they've had a year. Why isn't this game a thousand percent perfect yet? I don't know. I don't think it's a big ask, but I also don't have a crystal ball. CD Projekt Red has been quite busy here, considering they're also probably working on another game, or at least a portion of the company is, and uh, they've also had some leadership changes and are dealing with shareholder lawsuits and being in the news and all that types of stuff. All of the updates here released have been pretty intensely focused on cutting out the weird glitches. But then of course, that begs the question, uh, you know, when are we getting all the other stuff? Are they gonna fix the game up in any other ways? When are we getting that juicy post-release content? We were hyped up with expansions, new content, a whole original roadmap, 
all of that roadmap has been pretty much replaced with just technical updates and patches. You know, all that stuff has shifted further down the line. In terms of new content in the game, there's some clothing and some quest options, I think. P patch 1.3 brought that, and that's really it right now. Now, patch 1.4 is seemingly on the horizon, and 1.5 is also an update slated for early 2022. It seems like early 2022 is gonna be a busy time period for Cyberpunk. Uh, but with some of the bugs finally getting ironed out, it's showing that for us, at its core, it's still a good, not great game. The story can be pretty cool, the gameplay pretty fun, and of course, the Night City atmosphere that I mentioned, yes, but it's not the most satisfying RPG it could have been, and we'd like to see improvements in that regard. That's a tall order though, you know? Some of that might boil down to substantially changing the game. How do you substantially change the rules, you know? Still, there's some realistic stuff we'd love to see added in, and some of this is rumored stuff that the game is actually going to receive thanks to a video from Tyler McVicker. Uh, you know, a transmog system for your loot, new game plus, a lot more significant NPC upgrades, deeper faction stuff. Uh, side note, in terms of things we want, this is more demanding, but we'd also love to see more Jackie. He was criminally underutilized in the game, set up as a cool character, and then, you know, I'm not really spoiling anything, but he was killed off right in the beginning. Now, we'd love to see, and this is a big ask too, an overhaul of the whole life path origin system and more Jackie with that, especially after CD Projekt Red recently went on record saying they didn't know what to do with him and just kind of, yeah. Uh, there's potential to do that type of stuff with content expansions, which again, CD Projekt Red insists is still coming. Last spring, I believe, CD Projekt Red publicly pretty much canceled their Cyberpunk Online spinoff project, so hopefully they're just focusing on just adding cool new stuff to the game. We're hoping for what we mentioned earlier, and for more missions that flesh out the world more, or take advantage of underused areas or neighborhoods in the game, and just flesh those out more, and hopefully some new abilities and cool weapons. I, you know, I don't know, we're simple. We just want a better game. Also, we can't forget, uh, there's still a next generation version that they're working on. Believe it or not, Cyberpunk 2077, a year ago, released just as the PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X was hitting the market. And they're still not technically available in those next gen versions. Technically, you can't play PlayStation 5 and Xbox Series X versions of the game. If you have those consoles, you're just playing the pre previous console generation versions. Most recently, in November, CD Projekt Red has confirmed Cyberpunk 2077's next-gen version is coming first quarter 2022, along with another big update. So them getting it out the door and running on new shiny next generation consoles is great, but the game has to be 100% rock solid too. Otherwise, what's the point? People waiting for that next gen version have already waited a long time, and we assume many of them won't mind waiting longer until the game is near flawless and maybe has a few content updates. Maybe like a definitive version collection down the line or something, I don't know. There's a lot of hate around CD Projekt Red and specifically how they handled the launch of this game, and I think it's a big concern with consumer rights and just how corporations handle hype and everything and really releasing games. Games. We still think at the end of the day, they built a cool night city and the Johnny Silverhand stuff is interesting. The atmosphere is there. The driving feels decent. The shooting is cool, but there's all the other BS around it that needs to be either technically fixed or updated or tweaked in some ways. So we're happy to see some technical improvements. They may not be the sexiest things in the world, but we think CD Projekt Red still has quite a ways to go. It's definitely better. And if maybe you got it on sale at this point, you're probably having a decent time. But if you saw it day one and you saw it now, like running on your console or on your PC, you can see that there is a difference there, but we still just want some more overall really. But that's us. That's Cyberpunk 2077 one year later. We just wanted to take a quick dive and a little bit of like an update of sorts so you know what the deal is and what's coming. So we want to hear from you guys in the comments. Like I said, we have talked to some people out there who got the game on sale after all the hype and drama died down and they're digging it after some updates in here and there. Maybe some people are really enjoying it more. Do you think it's a good enough overhaul? Do you want more? Are you like us? You really are just at this point 
bored of all the bug fixes. Like, yes, that's great, but we want the sexy stuff. We want more fun stuff to do in this world. Or are you completely over it, never gonna touch it again, don't wanna give CD Projekt Red a dime? Absolutely also valid. Let's talk about all this stuff down in the comments. Let us know your thoughts on CD Projekt Red and Cyberpunk 2077. If you enjoyed this though and appreciated seeing some gameplay, some fresh gameplay of the updated game, click on the like button's all you gotta do. It very much helps us out and we appreciate it. But as always, thanks for watching and we'll see you guys next time.